Today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. This is going to be featuring some of Beauty Con's box I got recently. But yeah, so I'm going to be featuring some of their products and I'm going to tell you what I think about them. One of my friends has one of the products, so, and I've seen her use this. I have like high expectations for it. So yeah, we'll just jump right into it and let's just go and get started. So as usual, I'm just going to be taking this headband and I'm just going to be pushing my hair back so it's all out of my face. So first we're going to start by moisturizing. I just want to use some hand gel because I'm a germaphobe and I don't want to be touching my face after touching all my equipment and whatnot. So I'm in my old filming spot, not really. I haven't really filmed here in a long time, so yeah. So I'm sorry if the lighting changes. I'm just using that the window behind me. So the first thing that I'm gonna use from my beauty con box, this is by Versa Spa. This is Beyond Tan Face Moisturizing. Oh, it's a gradual tanner. So I guess it will tan my face. Now I've been to the beach a lot this summer, so my face is very darker than usual. But this will probably like match it to my like arms and everything. So I'm just be using a little bit because it's a little sample, and I'm gonna be applying it to my face. Now this smells like it has a scent, so just be careful of not getting it in your eye or anything. If you guys like my nails, they're white and sparkly and they have a jewel on it and another jewel. I kind of made it up, it kind of matches my phone case. It looks like that. Okay, so my first impression on this, I love the smell of it. It might burn, so don't get it in your eyes. All moisturizers are the same, to be honest, so I can't really tell the difference till after. But now, I'm gonna be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Spray and just priming my face with this. Now I'm just going to be fanning myself over and I'm going to be grabbing my primer. The primer I'm going to be using today is... I have these by Darkest Foundation. This has really heavy duty coverage. But right now I'm just going to be taking my NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. It looks like this. It was featured in my NYX Face Award. So I'm going to just be applying this. You want to wait till it's dry if you spray your face before you do anything. Because then it's going to mess up like, the evenness, if that makes sense. Okay, so now that that is applied, I'm going to be taking my foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is the Revlon Colorstay foundation. So I just put it in my hand and I dot it all over my face. This is a very thick foundation, so I'm not trying to put a ton on, you know. Now I'm just going to be blending it in with my Real Techniques buffer brush. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna be taking some concealer. So for my concealer and my cream contouring, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I got a new one. This is the Fit Me Maybelline Combination Stick. It's just my gonna be my contour shade. I like the cream contour because I feel like it lasts longer and the pigment really comes out. So we're just gonna be doing a triangle to highlight. You guys should go see my How to Cream Contour and Bake video. I also like to put it at the sides of my nose because it helps contour my little bit of a chubby nose. Now I'm just going to be taking this. This is in the shade Toffee Caramel 330. I was really in the shade Coconut with my mom so they didn't have it. So it's a lot more grayer. It kind of matches me a little on my skin. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking a Beauty Blender. This is the black one. It's the pro one. And I'm just going to spray it with the... Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Drown it. Guys, I'm gonna update my room. Do you want me to do like, this could be like a 12 year old's room. It's not 12 year old, but like younger. And then I'm gonna update my room to like a white, I think. Like a white, gold, and a pop of color. So it's easier to like decorate. And yeah, so let me know if you guys want a room tour on this. And then I'll do when I like get my new bed, cause this is not a queen, it's like smaller. I'll do a new room tour, like update, like for older. This is like 12 year old jade explosion up in here. I did my friend's makeup the other day, but my back were in front of the camera. 
So now you like you can't even see what she's doing. So thumbs up this video if you guys want to see it. Like we'll do it over because it was a fail. For the most part, like for the parts that I was watching of it was bad. Ew, my makeup is so streaky. Beauty blender come through. When I did my friend's makeup, came out like the foundation came out so cakey because she has dry skin. So when you have like oily skin, I feel like it's better, you know? I mean, you can still put makeup on dry skin, but when you have drier skin, it's like hard for the makeup to like seep into your skin. Does that make sense? Like to make it more natural? All right, so now that I'm done blending, I'm gonna be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I really need more of this because because it's like almost out. Like I've got this like since Christmas. It's already almost out. So what I like to do is just take it right after I blended my concealer and everything, and I put it into the cap. Ooh, crap, that came out a lot and it's expensive, okay. <laughs> and I just like to take my damp beauty blender, I don't really care, and I'm just gonna be baking under my eyes. Hopefully this is not going on my shirt. And I actually just go over my eyelids and then do the same thing to the other eye. And just put the excess like in the, all right. Highlighted with my cream concealer. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it under to sharpen the contour. Especially in the summer, I really like to bake my face because it's like sweat proof. So I'm just gonna be putting this back and I'm just gonna be setting it. So I also got this, this is new. This is a really good brush to set your rest of the makeup with. This is the Equal Tools powder brush and this is a Maybelline Dream Wonder powder in Classic Ivory 20. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna be moving on to the eyebrow so we can come along closer. Okay, so I'm just gonna be taking the Naked Palette brush. This is what I use to blend it, and then this is what I use to put on the concealer. All right, so I'm just gonna be taking a spoolie, and I'm gonna be trying out the Smashbox Tech Shaping Brow Powder. It looks like this. It's like an eyeliner, like my eyeliners I use. So first, we're just gonna be brushing out the brows with a spoolie. So my first impression is that was really, really good. I really recommend it. It's in the shade Taupe. And then I'm gonna be taking my NYX Star Circle Concealer Corrector. The writing came off. I have another one here. And I'm just gonna be taking a smidget and just making it not look like unibrow. And then I'm just gonna be going under to shape it really well. So then I'm gonna take the fluffy side and just blend it out. I just like to take some of this and just put it right here to blend because I don't want it to look like block eyebrows if you know what I'm saying. And then right after I blend that out, I like to take a contour brush like this and I just like to set it. Alright, so to make sure they stay in place all day, we're going to be taking the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Brow Mascara. Just clear. I actually like this one better than the... Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara because it kind of like highlights the hair if you know what I mean to make it look natural. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this brush and I'm just gonna be taking it out of its packaging. So yeah, here it is. It looks really cool. Ooh, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use this. This is like a cream and contour brush, but I think I'm gonna be using this for like packing eyeshadow on maybe. Now we're gonna be taking a neutral brown shade. I think today I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Summit Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm gonna be taking the shade Mousse and Truffle, maybe these two, just any brown shade because I don't know what I want to use. So I'm just gonna be taking the e.l.f. blending brush and we're just gonna be placing this in the crease. I'll just take like this shade I would say, like a shade like that. You don't want to go too crazy for the eyes because we're gonna be doing a bright lip. 
tap that off and just do windshield wiper motions. I recommend holding the brush farther away so you have less control, you know? Like you want control, but it just looks better to me. And then I like to really go in the outer V and just blend it. Like focus the product right here and just work your way up. I'm just going to be taking more of Truffle just to darken this up. So just take your finger and just go like that if you want. I'm taking the palette again and I'm going to be taking the shade Peanut Butter and I'm just going to be putting this above the browns for a transition shade. And tap off and just put it right there. So now I'm just be taking this contour brush by Cover Effect, and I'm just be taking the shade Butter Pecan right here. Pack it on the brush and highlight the brow bone. And now I'm just gonna be putting it in the inner corner. All right, so that should be good. Now all you need is some eyeliner. I didn't want it this dark, but it's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. So now I'm just gonna be taking my L'Oreal telescopic eyeliner and some glue. And yeah. So I'm just gonna be doing a little wing. And now I'm gonna be taking another product I got from my Beautycon box. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara. It's waterproof. This is great for the summer. These are all of Candy Johnson Summer Essentials. So I might not even need the fake eyelashes because I've seen people use this mascara and it looks so good, like I can't. So it looks like this. It has little, it's blue. It has little like ring droplets. I so before we wipe off the powder under here, I'm just be curling my eyelashes and using this mascara. Okay, ready? First impression. I'm just going to be putting it on this bobby pin thing. I don't know. So I'm going to be taking the Kiss eyelashes. I actually stacked a pair together because I like thicker eyelashes in this. And it came with this, like this little thing for eyelashes. Like, yas. And then I could just use this. So I never put out that freaking how to apply fake eyelashes because I always mention it in my videos and everything. Or Yeah, I would just watch. So whatever hand you write with is what you want to start with, I feel like. Flip it upside down like this and apply it into the glue. So I would just go like this and wait for them to dry. Or you can take a black eyeshadow and just set it like this, like that. So I'm gonna be taking this palette and I'm gonna be just setting it. Take this brush like this. And this is like really black. This is in the shade Licorice. And this is in Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm just gonna be putting this right above the eyeliner and the glue and everything. So now I'm just gonna be taking the a contour brush and the Anastasia contour kit in light to medium. And I'm gonna be taking the shade on and this these two to bronze. So this to contour and those to bronze as always. And this is just a contour brush that I found at my local Harman's and just Now I'm just gonna squeeze the brush and just put in all, mostly the contour shade. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be taking a stippling brush and I'm gonna be blending everything so it doesn't look so dramatic. Now I'm just gonna be taking the Mix Blush in Mauve Me. You've guys seen this one before and I'm just gonna be applying that.
So this is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. This is in the shade Peaches and Cream. And I'm gonna be taking the pencil side of it and I'll put mascara on too. You guys will see pictures, but I'm just showing you the main parts. And I'm just going to be lining them with this side and then I'm gonna be filling it in with this. So it's just like an ombre duo. And what I just make it like blend in with this makeup look, I'll show you in a second. all really and then I'm be taking the cover effects brush again with the Anastasia contour kit taking the matte light shades right here and just fixing a or you can take like this shade right here and put it there for a nice pout don't mind that taking this dual fiber brush and just blending it I'm actually wearing the Too Faced Semi Chocolate Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, taking the Cover FX brush and taking the thicker side, and I just placed it on the high point of my face, like right there. I just took a little bit, and put it right there, right there, right there, right here, and there, and put it under my brows, put it right above my brows. Just any blending brush, and we're just gonna be softening that out, especially right here. It gets all like blotchy, I guess. So yeah, just blend that out. one little fat concealer I like to call it and I just put it right here to like help lighten it all right guys so this is a finished makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, so I'm gonna go film the sister tag right now with my little sister. It's gonna be an updated one. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and please go subscribe. We're almost through 2,000. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. I really want more subscribers. And yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye bye. Alright, so I'm sorry for that big explosion happening. One second, don't want. Oh, wait. Oh. You put. You can come closer. Not that closer. Shake, 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 senora. Shake your body right. Vec, 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 senora. Oh, it's